The Haunted Hills Project is presented by Appalachian Wireless. This is the Haunted Hills Project. I'm Polly Hopkins. And I'm Carolina Weatherford. Polly, both of us grew up hearing some of the fantastic stories from the past, folklore and legends that are unique to Central Appalachia. Nearly everyone is familiar with the Octavia Hatcher story, the Dingus Tunnel, but we're going to explore lesser known haunts and take you on a journey ghost hunting through Central Appalachia. We'll visit the Stafford House in Paintsville, where legend has it a Civil War soldier is buried under the front porch. And we'll take you to the Dill Cemetery, which is full of dark stories and local intrigue. The York Mansion, where renovations are currently underway, located in Pikeville, Kentucky, of course, one of the creepier stories that we encountered. Um, there are some construction workers who report having seen the spirit of a young girl missing her face. And the Samuel May House in Prestonsburg, where paranormal investigators have reported communicating with a spirit named Aunt Nell and a boy named Jacob, both actually documented as having lived in the house and died there. We were joined by our area's leading paranormal investigators. We were very thankful for all their help, Debbie and Ted of DDT Paranormal. They taught us ghost hunting novices all of the tricks of the trade, including how to conduct an EVP session. That stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon and is a way to hear spirits interact with you through electronic devices. And we actually captured some of these recordings and we will share that with you coming up soon. The Stafford House in Paintsville was built around 1840 by John Stafford and he was one of the founders of the city of Paintsville. One of the first things we noticed about the house was the unique layout. A uh, portion of the house was actually built before the Civil War and the other portion of the house was built post-Civil War. We also kept getting ambient smells of flowers. It was so intense at times that we both likened it to a funeral home. Right. It was really intense and it was kind of waving, coming and going. Mm -hmm. We were also joined there by Ashley Literal of Appalachian Wireless who was eager to experience the paranormal himself. He wasn't disappointed. So this portion of the house is pre-Civil War, this portion of the house we think is post-Civil War? That is correct. Yes. And did the same family build both parts of the house? Yes, the Stafford family. Okay. And any idea on dates? Um, dating back to about 1840 is okay. what the history says on the house. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And you've heard the rumor, but there's no confirmation that there is a Civil War soldier buried under one of the porches of the house. That is true. Okay. There is no confirmation. If I were guessing, I would say what is now the front porch, because that would have been um, an empty lot at okay. the time. Um, the Main Street director was here cleaning one day, mm -hmm. and she was up in the front, uh, the front parlor, and by the front door and was cleaning and um, so felt someone tap her on the shoulder. Mm. And the other lady that was here, the president of the she was in the back of the house cleaning and no one was around her. So she's she's had an occurrence here with what they think is a female ghost uh, so, or spirit, I yeah. should say. Um, so yeah, that's happened uh, on more than one occasion here. Wow. Did you work with flowers? I'm Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins. For the clearest, most up-to-date look at your weather, it's the EKB Weather Cam, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. 
We give you a bird's eye view of the skies above Pikeville, rain or shine, day or night. Watch for the EKB Weather Cam every day at 6 and 10, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. Are you tired of pushing pins? Is your boss the worst? Co-workers driving you bonkers. Those cubicle walls seem smaller every day, don't they? You need a change. Here at East Kentucky Broadcasting, we invite you to join our dynamic sales team. Trade in that cubicle for wide open spaces, endless income potential, benefits, travel reimbursements, but wait, there's more. Join our team today and find yourself among the region's top marketing experts. Rub elbows with sales most elite. Send your resume in or visit our glamorous studios to fill out an application in person. And this turns here with what they think is a female ghost uh, so, or spirit, I yeah. should say. Ted, Lee, Charles, Polly, Carolina, and Ashley. So we know you're a man, and you worked in the house, and you're not a member of the Stafford family, and you're from Paintsville. Turn the light on, please. Thank you. Turn the light off, please. Did you work? In the house. In this house. Can you turn the light on, please? In this house. Can you turn the light on, please? Did you work on the house? If you work on the house. Turn the light on, please. If you work on the house. Did you work with the animals behind the house? If so, turn the light on, please. <gasps> Good one, Polly. The other one turned on. Well, that's the other flashlight, girls, just so you know. Well, awesome, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> After establishing that the spirit we were communicating with was a servant who worked in the home or actually outside of the home with some of the animals, we decided to do a second EVP session, which again is an electronic voice phenomenon where we try to capture the voice of spirits on a recording device. We went upstairs to do that in the servant's quarters. And we did actually get some ghostly audio in our findings. There is a lot here. I just don't know. Oh wait, there. Here's the switch thing. Now turn, turn the red light off, please. That was me. Turn it all the way off. There are many ways you can sense the presence of a spirit. The temperature in a room can change. You can get chills or feel like someone has touched you and you can experience different scents. During our investigations, we experienced all of the above. Uh, kitchen. And we were getting a lot of K2 activity. So I'm wondering if, if there's someone here that would be our expert. We've been told that there's a lady that has been seen here several times. If you're here, well, obviously someone's here. <laughs> I'm getting that a major smell of it again. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Did you work with flowers? I 
you want us to say, um, make the meters light up or turn on the front spot, please. When we reviewed the audio on site and heard the spirit tell us to get out, I was scared. We got out. When the spirit tells you to get out, it's probably a good idea to, to leave. leave and move on to the next location. Hold on. Hello, I'm Rodney Scott, Pike County Sheriff. West Care Emergency Homeless Shelter services 500 people per year, one third of those being children. Pike County Sheriff's Office will be hosting a supply drive to aid the shelter in preparing care kits to leave around the county for homeless persons. If you or your organization would like to contribute to the drive, simply drop off items at the Pike County Sheriff's Office from October the 16th through October the 31st. Thank you for supporting the Sheriff's Office effort to help the homeless in Pike County. We are Hit City USA, the biggest hits that defined your generation. From the artists that will forever be a part of our lives. Oh, don't you know that it's wrong. And start your mornings off right with Jumpstart, featuring Paul Manuel weekday mornings from 6 to 9, only on Hit City USA. The Dill Cemetery is the oldest cemetery in Pikeville and also one of the first integrated cemeteries in Eastern Kentucky. It's a place that's very important to a lot of us from this area because a lot of very important historical figures are buried there. Like Frank Waller, who was Effie Waller Smith's father. She was a, an award-winning poet, African-American poet from Pikeville. The Stranger was a very compelling story that we found while doing a little research on Dill's Cemetery. He was a young man estimated to be about 27 and he was found murdered, brutally murdered. African American man, no connection to anyone in the area and that crime stayed unsolved and we hoped to maybe make contact with him while there. Right, also the McCoys of the famous Hatfield-McCoy feud are buried there. Of note, Randall McCoy, who was the patriarch of the McCoy family, and his daughter, Roseanne. Roseanne reportedly died of a broken heart after her child died, and of course, after she lost her love, one of the Hatfields. With you, we're going to ask questions, and if you, if you all want to communicate with us, we're only here to visit, and you're welcome to talk with us in any way you want to, and but you're not allowed to follow us home. This is your domain. This is where you're going to be staying, but we're just come to visit. We mean you no harm in any way. You want to ask? Um, yeah. We want to know if the one known as the stranger. the stranger is here with us. Cross for yes, spread apart for no. If the stranger is here with us, cross for yes, spread apart for no. Of course, that's what we call you because we don't know your name. You were murdered. Mm -hmm. well, the, Can she say that? The thing yeah. about it, if he's not here, he couldn't cross. Okay. If you are a person of color and you're here with us tonight, can you cross the rods for yes? A person of color and you were murdered while you were walking through the area, cross for yes. If not, spread apart. If you are a person of color, that would wow. be a no. Definite no. Hmm.
1475, the new hit music revolution. Today's most massive hits from the world's biggest stars. Start your day with the Kid Craddock Morning Show, weekday mornings from 6 to 11. And end it with the Zach Sang Show every weekday evening from 7 to midnight. Here on Z1075. Tell him sit down. All right, let's go straight to the emergency room. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Sam, what's your stamp? Let's go, Charles. All right. I got you. No, thank you. You're too fast. <sighs> okay. I heard it. it. You guys got everything? Yeah, we feel fine. All right. Sorry about wait? tonight, guys. No, I'll be fine. I'll be all right. Could we wait here? We'll call we'll you. We'll give you a call as soon as we know something. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't planning on anything thank tonight. You. See you guys. Of course you would get bit by a serpent. serpent. Are you <laughs> this and I'm not doing You did. Anymore. You got bit by a serpent. Bit by a snake until it was a we didn't get to spend as much time as we wanted to in the Dill Cemetery because Charles was actually bitten by a snake. Or were the spirits actually trying to tell us to leave? After Charles spent some time in the hospital where he was actually admitted, we ended up going on to the York House without him because we figured out he was going to be okay. Yeah, he was fine. So the York House is currently under renovations, and according to Ted and Debbie, renovations often stir up the spirits and produce more activity on the paranormal investigations. We were warned before we went into the house that the construction workers have very recently experienced the spirit of a young girl, very little, with no face. You heard that right, with no face. Do we have a spirit with us today? Cross, Cross for yes. Go apart for no. I got a question. At least they're not jumping around like they did. The Seriously. Cemetery. Did we just hear you whistle? Cross for yes. Spread apart for no. Did I also hear you? Say something when we were coming upstairs. Cross for yes. I thought it was Ted. Cross for yes, spread apart for no. Is there more than one spirit here? Cross for yes, spread apart for no. Contractors working on this building have said that they've seen a little girl with no face. Are you here? Cross for yes. Let's rephrase that. Yeah. She may not know she has, doesn't have facial features. <gasps> <gasps> that is so creepy that she doesn't know that she doesn't know. Seriously, no, she wouldn't know that. Here because it might not be her talking to her. Why wouldn't you know? She may just not know. So Seriously. Scary. Ask, something like ask, really ask if there's a little, a little girl, girl present. Okay. Is there a little girl here with us tonight? Cross for yes, spread apart for no. She's here. See, she may not be aware that she's passed mm -hmm. and that she, her face is not. Mm -hmm. There. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah, um, she may not be aware that her face is messed up. 
So we made contact with the child. And at this point, Charles was released from the emergency room and he rejoined us. He's actually manning the camera in this next clip. Can you turn the light off, please? Oh, uh, well, he, he's back. Look at that direction. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, my God, it looks like a face. Like a little face. Oh, it Ish. looks like a face with hair. Oh, my God. Do you see it? Seriously. Do you see that? I do see it. Where? On the wall. On the wall in there. Okay, I'm logically trying to figure this out. Oh, please. Please, please. Turn the lights off, please. Was there another addition on this room at one time? Turn the light on if yes. By addition, I mean another floor. Thank you. I'm getting chills. I have big time chills. Climbing up my neck. Is the man who you're afraid is going to hurt you? Is he here? Did someone just whisper? I heard it. Did someone just whisper? I heard it. I have, I have to introduce you all. Okay. Should we say hi? Yes. Hi, Ethel. Hi, Ethel. <laughs> I'm Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins. For the clearest, most up-to-date look at your weather, it's the EKB Weather Cam, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. We give you a bird's eye view of the skies above Pikeville, rain or shine, day or night. Watch for the EKB Weather Cam every day at 6 and 10, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. The Rock 103.1, true classic rock. With The Rock, you get more true classic rock from the greatest classic rock artists of all time. Rock 103.1. Start your mornings big with The Big Show with John Boy and Billy every weekday morning from 6 to 10 with an awesome best of show every Saturday morning. The Rock 103.1. Our most terrifying experience of this entire project happened at one of the oldest houses in Prestonsburg, the Samuel May House, which dates back to the early 1800s. Debbie of DDT, of course, our lead paranormal investigator, she warned us that spirits often react more strongly to spirit triggers. So I brought with me a portrait of some of my family members from, a, from the similar time period who also happened to be related to Samuel May. Right. And the house, interestingly, is like a time capsule and everything in the house actually belonged there at one point in time. So basically the whole thing is a spirit trigger. Awesome. And this is one of, been a music major, this is one of my favorite things in the world. Ethel, I'm touching your organ, okay? I told you. I have, I have to introduce you all. Okay. Okay. Should we say hi? Yes. Hi, Ethel. Hi, Ethel. Aunt Nell, Ethel, family, these are my friends. This is Polly, this is Carolina, Hi. and that's Charles. You know the rest of us. We're here, we're just gonna talk to you and and see what you have to say. I'm getting major, <laughs> like, creepy vibes already. <laughs> we're not here to hurt you. You know I wouldn't let that happen. But we're just happy to be here in a common ancestral home. Mm -hmm get it started. They love music. 
Pick it up some more. So Nell and Ethel are both actual Samuel May descendants who lived in the house. Okay, so I ask the question. Okay. Yes, boy. Are there any spirits here that are not Aunt Nell? Cross for yes. Yeah, cross them if the answer is yes. Because I'm not doing anything. No, you're not. No, no, you're... It's okay, don't be shy. Thank there. you. You got to guess. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> now, now ground them. Okay. You cannot manipulate those things. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So can I ask another question? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Um, are the spirits that are here that are not Aunt Nell, are you happy? If so, cross the rods. If yes, cross the rods. If no, go in the opposite directions. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. That's unusual. That is okay. really unusual. I'm not doing anything. I promise I'm not doing anything. <laughs> When's the last time we see that happen? No, that's not that. I'm not Never. seeing that out here. I bet Jacob's here. Is there, can I ask a question? Yeah, yes, you ask ahead. anything you want. Is there a child here? Please turn the light on if the answer is yes. Force, please. And Jacob is the spirit of the child. Mm -hmm. He is one that we were actually able to document that actually Died did pass house. away here. How old was he? He was eight, seven, eight, somewhere in that area. really weird right now. <laughs> okay, Jacob, come on. You're always here and you always like to touch those lights, so turn the light on for us, We got K2 hit. There Thank we you. go. Thank you, Jacob. You just ran up and did snap that one, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> Hello. I'm Rodney Scott, Pike County Sheriff. West Care Emergency Homeless Shelter services 500 people per year, one third of those being children. Pike County Sheriff's Office will be hosting a supply drive to aid the shelter in preparing care kits to leave around the county for homeless persons. If you or your organization would like to contribute to the drive, simply drop off items at the Pike County Sheriff's Office from October the 16th through October the 31st. Thank you for supporting the Sheriff's Office effort to help the homeless in Pike County. Are you tired of pushing pins? Is your boss the worst? Co-workers driving you bonkers. Those cubicle walls seem smaller every day, don't they? You need a change. Here at East Kentucky Broadcasting, we invite you to join our dynamic sales team. Trade in a cubicle for wide open spaces, endless income potential, benefits, travel reimbursements, but wait, there's more. Join our team today and find yourself among the region's top marketing experts. Rub elbows with sales most elite. Send your resume in or visit our glamorous studios to fill out an application in person. Certainly one of the most terrifying things that we experienced is when we reviewed that audio on site and heard the voice of a child. There were no children in that house that night. Yeah, that was very creepy. But that was only heard in reviewing the audio after the fact. What you're about to see happened in real time.
just walked across the room. Sweetheart, I'm not gonna hurt you. All right, sweetheart, I'm gonna bed. Okay, we're gonna go get our, our equipment and we're gonna let you play with some stuff, okay? And we'll be right back. You can come with us, we're just going right across the hall. Are there several of you? Could you turn the torch light on if the answer is yes? That's some freaky <laughs> <shit> right there. <laughs> Maybe it's the boy who wanted to talk to me. Are you good? If you're good, please flash. Thank you. Oh, that's on the blue one. Do you, do you want to talk to Polly? Please flash if yes. Everyone's up here, right? Yeah. Yes. Do you want to talk to me? Okay, turn the light back off, please. Thank you. Is there a little girl in the other room? Flash for yes. With the red one. They're both working. <clears throat> okay, turn the light back off, please. Lathan Hopkins. For the clearest, most up-to-date look at your weather, it's the EKB Weather Cam, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. We give you a bird's eye view of the skies above Pikeville, rain or shine, day or night. Watch for the EKB Weather Cam every day at 6 and 10, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. With the red one. They're both working. <clears throat> okay, turn the light back off, please. You're still on. I bet Mine's still recording. recording right now. Pick that up. So you were, you've got like ten minutes gone. You missed it, Ryan. This is this is the last recording I have prior to that. And that's when I was using the dousing sticks. That was a while ago. That was before we split that's up. That's nuts. I was, you, I was watching you record though. Mm -hmm. So when, when that thing moves, the red light was on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm missing like two or three repeats. So it coincides with that thing moving. So the baby carriage moved on its own across the floor. Even creepier, or I guess to add to how scary that whole event was, Charles had footage from his camera that just disappeared. About 20 minutes of footage. But that didn't scare us away. What happened next? Did. Did. Did you see movement? Where? <laughs> Where? Bryson. 
did he say? Oh, it was mm -hmm. in the middle yeah. area. Was it in, in the landing? Yeah. Was there something just moving in the central area of the upstairs? Flash ones for yes. I think we both went into this, actually, I think all three of us, you, me, and Charles, went into this with a healthy dose of skepticism and an open mind. And honestly, I wouldn't say that now I believe in ghosts, but there were definitely some things that happened that we cannot explain, and that is supernatural. Or paranormal. I went into it thinking it wasn't gonna be as scary as it was. Um, all of us, including Ashley Literal of Appalachian Wireless, we were all very touched by what happened. Some of us quite literally. Um, I felt something touch me, and so did Ashley. We also got some very creepy recordings and smelled the strong scent of funeral flowers. Although we didn't find the ghost of the stranger in Dill Cemetery, it was a very spooky place, and obviously there were snakes, which is pretty scary. Whether they were just there or whether the spirits didn't want us there and put a snake in the path of Charles, we'll never know. And at the York House in Pikeville, we heard a little girl say, Papa, no. <laughs> And this is the same place where construction workers had reported seeing a little girl with no face. I was terrified of the idea that there was a little girl there who had no face and as Debbie explained, may not even realize that her face was missing. To me, the scariest of all was the Samuel May house. We had a ton of evidence from that house and a lot of things happened. The baby carriage moved, Charles had footage go missing, and we heard the voice of a child even though there were no children at the house that night. Very frightening. Thank you for joining us, coming along through the hills of Appalachia to experience the Haunted Hills Project. If you know of a local haunt that you would like to have investigated, let us know. Happy Halloween. <laughs>